Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shonice and welcome back to Simply Nikwa. So in today's video, I have a book review. And a few weeks ago, I was chosen to get to read a book from an author that I have never read from before. So I'm really excited to bring this video for you guys for a new author to spice things up. So if you're ready to hear more about the book and what author I'm going to talk about today, go ahead and sit back and relax. But as you do that, if you haven't already, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also give this video a like. But other than that, let's get started with this video. So what book should you ask that I'm making this book review all about? It is called Never Have You Ever, and it's the first book of the Love Game series. This book was written by Elizabeth Haley. So what was this book about? This book is the first book of a couple in the series so I'm going to tell you what this particular first book is about but I don't know the whole true story of these two yet obviously. So this book evolves around Drew and Sophia. Those are the two main characters. They both are going to the same college and they met in a unconventional way that you have to read more and have to pick up this book and read to find out and what's in their unconventional way of meeting they had to keep their secret from others within the campus throughout the whole process of doing that they became really true good friends and really got to know one another on a, a more personal basis and while they try to keep this secret you know how as you tell one lie you have to keep telling lies these lies have keep kept in building up as these two went through the semester these lies that they had to keep telling to keep their secret from everyone on campus has kept building up building up and may have consequences in the end so let me tell you a little bit more of about these two characters individually. So Sophia, she is in a sorority house and she has some issues with that. But you can read more into this book and pick this book up to read what those issues were. But her sorority house was called Zeta Eta Kai. She is very independent and caring um, and strong minded as well. And she is really a very, very good friend. So let's move on to Drew. Drew is like a senior and and he is a bartender at night and still goes to school and meets up with Sophia in that time span and he is very a caring guy for sure and he's a loving and he's sweet and but tough when he needs to be and goes after what he wants and wants to make himself more better a better person and to strive for more for his future in life. But since this is the first book, you don't know every little thing about Sophia and Drew right off the bat if this, this was like a standalone novel. So it's going to have more and more of their story in the other books. What I physically got from this first book of reading just this first book is a, a couple key points. Is to take chances when they present themselves and don't be scared to take those chances and to just go for it and just do it. And another thing was that I got from this book as well that will make more sense if you begin to read this book and finish this book as well, um, that the ideal path might not be the traditional path to get where you want to go and to learn what you need to learn to pursue and to gain more of your future that you wanna have. So take the untraditional path. And the last little thing, these chances that you might get in life, even if they make you fearful or be afraid, like don't be afraid and just take them if they feel right for you to do and are a right opportunity for you to do them. So those kind of like are basically the big main points that I got overall with this book. Like Drew had these chances and he just took them. And being with Sophia and allowed him to be able to take these chances and to broaden his future and broaden what can be more with his life. How the book ended, it kind of like ended and you're like, oh crap, what's going to happen? And I'm, I'm so excited to read the next book because I need to know what else happened with Drew and Sophia. 
Another little thing that I found interesting about this book, usually when you have a book series, they have like um, the book number one and, and it kind of ends and it goes on and on and on um, till the last book and then the last book kind of has an epilogue and it shows like a couple weeks later, a month, whatever of their story and that's typically what I see when I read different books. So that's what I'm basing this off on and this book has an epilogue in the first book so I thought that was really pretty interesting how this first book has an epilogue already and but also give you a cliffhanger of for the next book as well I thought that's really interesting to actually say to you guys as well this book comes out today November 10th if I haven't said that already and uh, another little interesting thing I found about this book you are allowed to be in Drew's mind and Sophia's mind so that's amazing I love to read the both po point of views and to see their aspect and see what's going in their head and what they are thinking so that's really really great about this book and you're really allowed to be the person in this book as well I do have to say that it did take me a little minute to or a couple of chapters to really get in the groove of this book usually I can read a book and be solid and sold on a, the first page the first chapter a couple uh, lines of this book but I'm not saying that it's not good because I wouldn't make a video if it wasn't good at all and it's a really good book and you really really get involved and intrigued what Sophia and Drew is about but that could just be me but I thought I should mention that as well this book has 29 chapters so this is a big book a thick book you know how I like my thick books with an epilogue which is a very very exciting I love that and so for this book to come out today you can read it and be in love with it because the second book comes out on November 24th that's even freaking more exciting so I'm so excited the second book is coming out pretty soon already like this is the 10th and the next book is coming out November 24th which is even awesome so I get to read more of Drew and Sophia pretty soon so I'm very excited about that so do I recommend you guys to read this book to buy this book to pick this book up today and I for sure say yes this is an amazing really really good book and a great storyline that I'm really intrigued to see what happens to Drew and Sophia and since this book kind of stop with a cliffhanger at the end like I need to know what happened I do recommend you guys to pick up this book especially if you haven't been introduced to this author before like I haven't and it'll just be a, like a good book to start your path in her book world and um, I'm so excited to read more of her books as well after all of that I think I said enough like I said it comes out today so pick this book up today you don't want to miss out on you and Sophia's story you're gonna love it so thank you so much for watching this video and this little review. I hope I didn't leave out anything important. Um, but other than that, if you haven't already, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a like as well if you haven't already at the beginning. If you're new here, subscribe because I do a lot of other book reviews and a lot of the stuff on my channel. But if you want some more book reviews and you want to miss out on some new book reviews for new releases, make sure you subscribe. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you back next week. Bye! I won't say goodbye yet Can I change your mind?